this is Sarah with Two Rabbits and we have more fun learning activities you can do at home if you happen to be um, at home with kids during the virus and looking for learning activities you can do. So um, at Two Rabbits we help communities to do homegrown preschool programs that use just homemade materials and you know don't really require a lot of resources and so I'm going to share one with you now that you can do for math and fine motor skills and um, so our at our program we teach math um, through scenarios and games and so um, it's good to have a real life situation that kids can use to apply new skills so this one is about counting um, and we'll call it a tea party although you can say it's a dinner party or just getting together with your friends, um, Sock Monkey and Lamb. Um, so in this game, I have a bowl of popcorn and then I just have three jar lids or you can use anything that to serve as a makeshift plate. So I'm going to roll this dice, five. So I'm going to give five popcorns to my friend, the monkey. Oops, I spilled one. I'm going to count that as three, four, Five. So this practices not only math and counting skills, but also fine motor skills, because I'm manipulating the spoon to pick up the popcorn, which can be tricky. If you want to make it extra tricky, you can do it with chopsticks, and that'll also build some good fine motor skills. Um, another variation of this game you can do is have each um, participant in your little tea party start with a certain number of popcorn. So I have three, lamb has two, and the monkey has five. And so say it's my turn, me with three pieces, I can roll a dice and say three. Um, how many pieces do I need to get to three? I already have three, so that's quite a coincidence and easy. Now Lamb's turn, Lamb has two, I rolled a three. So what do I need to do to get Lamb to have three? I would need to add one more from my little pile. And that is a fun math game you can do at home with popcorn um, and enjoy a snack. Thanks.